Yes, I am clutching my red uh, bus ticket. Would you please take me home? Is this a valid currency? Hey everybody and welcome to Take Your Time Gaming. I'm your host Wesley. Welcome back to Mist Masterpiece Edition. This is episode 9. In the previous episode we investigated the Mechanical Age and the Rocket Ship Age. The actual name of the Rocket Ship Age is not contained anywhere in this game, so we don't even know what the real name of that age is. However, if you do some investigation on your own, you'll find that the name of that age is the Selenitic Age, which is the... it's contained in some of the game files and then referenced later on in the Real Mist edition and everything else. So, we investigated the Mechanical Age and the Selenitic Age. We grabbed a page from the Selenitic Age and came back with it. And now, we don't know what to do. So, while we sit and figure that out, grab a tasty beverage and let's get started. So previously, I have fed several pages to these books. Um, I've actually kept a listing of where I fed these pages and where they've come from. So the red and blue pages, we've fed both pages to uh, Cirrus and Akinar from the Mist Island. We've fed both pages from Channelwood. We've only fed the blue page from the Stone Ship Age to Cirrus, and we have, or I'm sorry, the red page to Cirrus, and not the blue page to Akinar. The Mechanical Age, we actually didn't recover either page, and we didn't see them either. That means we missed something in the Mechanical Age. So in this episode, we're going to go back and check out the Mechanical Age. We're going to pick up a page from the Stone Ship Age, and we're going to pick up a page from the Rocket Ship Age. So I'm first, I think, going to go back to Stone Ship and get Akinar's page, uh, and then they he will only need one more from the Mechanical Age. I don't want to free them at this point. I, I'm worried about both of them murdering me because they're both pretty psychotic but let's find our way back to the stone ship age should be relatively simple we go to the ship which is still floating here as serenely as it ever was Let's go on back. We get to watch this wonderful video again. I guess this is essentially a loading screen at the time, so... We need to get the page from Akinar. So that means we need to drain these. here and the generator is now dead again because we haven't been there in a while let's go back upstairs charge up the generator and I'm really glad I'm getting a workout because it's been a while since I've ran up and down the gangplanks of the stone ship age and I have missed it. Okay, lights are back on. Down we run to Akinar's quarters with the spooky, spooky rib cage. We grab the page off of his disgusting bed. I really don't want to be touching this page right now. I should have brought latex gloves or something because this is pretty gross. And now, we need to go back down into the study area, which contains the linking book. Oh, and the lights are off still, so we need to turn the lights back on down here. And, well, seems like I've forgotten what to do because I've been away for so long. Which one? This one. Spooky bubbles. Turn the lights on. Sprint out. 
up and puff up the stairs. Drain the ship. Down we go. It's like speed misting at this point. We've already been here. Nothing new to see. The delicious Girardelli mist book emerges from the table. I hope there's no like deleterious health effects from going through the mist books over and over. If you just linked back and forth, like you get pixelated or something, and now when I, you meet anybody, they're like, "Why is your face so pixelated?" Um, this will be the Stone Ship Age page that I will feed to Akinar, which will leave only one page for Akinar and two pages left for Cirrus. Let's see what he has to say. Oh, my friend. <laughs> yep. I see. Convinced the Cirrus is guilty. Pray, do not release him. He will destroy me just to see Innocent bystander. I've been wrongly tricked. It's imprisonment! Didn't you have observed his unbridled lust for riches? Yeah, did see that. In the four remaining worlds. There's some plot. It was almost perfect! Final blow to the father. He tricked him into believing. I who was the matter? I didn't matter, father. <laughs> Bring me the remaining. Just leave. A liar. Pull in a liar. I must not be free. The remaining two pages from the last age of mist. I must be free. I cannot bear it here for eternity. You said pages now. Free me. He's still saying blue pages. Maybe he doesn't know how many pages there are, but there's only one left. So either he just doesn't know how many were ripped out of this book, and it's only one left, or something else. But in any case, he's given us some more information, I guess, a little bit. He says, the four remaining ages of mist, bring me all the pages from there. Uh, he's been blamed for Atrus's death, or at least he thinks he has, and he thinks he was locked in here by Cirrus. So he thinks his brothers betrayed him. He's begging us not to free Cirrus, uh, which, you know, there's no real new news here. They're both crazy, but it seems like that's really the only thing we can do to progress the game further is to bring these pages back. So I, I'm going to go as far as I can, and I'll probably actually save before I give them the next page just in case something bad happens because I, I don't really want to free either one of them, but I don't know if I have a choice. I may have to. So... We now have an option to go to the Mechanical Age and recover both pages, one for Akinar, one for Cirrus, and then back to Rocket Ship Age, which I have learned via internet sleuthing is called the Selenitic Age officially. Um, let's go back to Mechanical, grab Cirrus, his second to last page, uh, because the Rocket Ship Age takes a lot of time to get back from with all the, the uh, you know, public transportation, difficult to get back and forth. So we're going back to the Mechanical Age. So strap in, folks. Flying through the air, seen it all before. Nothing new. Although, we don't know where the pages are in the Mechanical Age. We've been all over it and uh, didn't find pages. So I was actually watching my previous video of me exploring the Mechanical Age to get an idea for where it might be, and I have a couple of ideas. Because I found... 
that there is a piece of that beautiful, beautiful diamond plate that may harbor some interesting things. So you look here at the throne, you've got the imager here, and you've got this mysterious caution-taped panel, and I never clicked on that panel before. So that you can look down and see it more closely, you've got a knife that looks similar to the one that Cirrus actually had on uh, the Channelwood Age, so maybe this is the matching pair that's Akinar's. But let's click this panel. <laughs> I knew it. I kind of cheated and went back and watched my old video, but let's go see what's in here. A uh, creepy cage. Wow. This guy has some issues, man. So this is like a literal cage to lock people in. And there's some kind of breaker here. Oh, goodness. I'm literally electrocuting this cage. This is definitely a torture cage or execution cage. And in either way, either case. <laughs> like little zaps? I can't hold it on, so I guess it's just designed to, to zap people uncontrollably. But this butcher block does not look like it's designed to just zap people for fun. It looks like it's designed for one specific purpose, which is removing people's heads. Oh, goodness. That's someone's face. I... I think I might have to go for Cirrus here. The fact that he's got a head in a box, a chopping block, many, many assorted poisons and things. I mean, we already knew he was a little bit unhinged, but this is the proverbial nail in the coffin. No pun intended. Uh, I don't want to get that page. That page, I'm just going to leave there for eternity. Because I don't have any direct proof that Cirrus has murdered anyone, just stolen their riches. And I guess on the scale of terrible things to do to people, stealing is a little bit less than murdering and torturing, if I had to decide. So that leaves the next question. Where is the red page? Look at this lovely, tiny chessboard that's not big enough to be a true chessboard. Uh, I'm clicking all over this thing. There doesn't seem to be... It's not as obvious as the last one, for sure. Ah, but it's still here. Okay. So behind the tapestry to the right of the chair, just like there was in Akinar's quarters, is a secret room. Let us investigate. Many fine wines, no doubt pillaged from all of the people in the age. Ooh, a note, a scroll. Cirrus, your greed sickens me. Your desire for wealth and plunder is never satisfied. I will instruct my subjects not to pay your new tax, and you know they'll listen to me. Regards, Akinar. Not even kind or warm regards, just plain old regards. So Akinar knows that he's been pillaging. Uh, there's gold and wine, and uh, here's a red page, so bullion. Many expensive things tucked away in his secret chamber. And this obviously explains the feud between the two of them. Um, Akinar has stylized himself as uh, lord and executioner, perhaps, of all of his citizens who, who punishes them or who meets out justice, I guess, in his awful ways. Uh, Cirrus has been plundering them as well, so neither one of them really is a paragon of integrity, and I think Atrus really needs to make some hard life, to, like, take a hard look at his life, and figure out why his sons have turned into these crazy people. You know what I was saying about traveling back and forth between linking books? Maybe this is what happens. But, in both cases, Cirrus still has no evidence that he's been murdering people. And I can't say that's particularly better, but it is slightly better. So I'm going to take the red page 
from here. I would also like to take a handful of this uh, gold and silver and perhaps a fine bottle of Channelwood Ale. Or Mechanical Ale, but Mechanical Ale does not sound nearly as delicious as Channelwood Ale. Then back we go to Mist. And I'll nervously wipe my brow with this red page because I'm not really sure what's going to happen. Before I feed it to him, I'm going to mark it off. Cirrus has his mechanical page. I don't think I'll see that. This forgotten island long ago. I will owe you my life, and you will be greatly rewarded. I don't believe you. You're not going to reward anybody you don't have to reward because you would rather hoard it all in crates on a distant, far-off island. So Cirrus seems to think that all the books were burned by Akinar. Uh, he also claims that Akinar murdered Atris. So I hope that Atris is still around, although maybe he's just as crazy as these other two. Mm. Well... We're now forced to make a choice. Red to the perpetual grifter or blue to the torturer and murderer. Um, this is a tough choice. I'm going to have to go with Cirrus, which means we have to go back to the rocket ship, the Selenitic Age. So we're going to make a grand tour of all the ages of mist. So now we are zooming off back to the rocket ship, the Selenitic Age. So-called, I suppose, due to the crystals, which perhaps are selenite crystals. Although they don't really look like selenite crystals. So the video here when you're entering is pretty staticky. I wonder if it scrambles your bits a little bit more than the rest of the ones do. Because it's some kind of technological uh, modification of a linking book system. I guess we'll never know. But I wonder if this retains the combo from the last time. It does. Good. Okay. 
So we need to go grab ourselves a red page, which I think... I don't remember where it was. Ah, I remember. It's over by the crystals. The final red page. And now we have to navigate the horrible metro station to get back home. Yes, I am clutching my red uh, bus ticket. Would you please take me home? Is this a valid currency? Yep. This may take a while, guys. I'll probably speed us all through it so you don't have to watch me navigate through this again. sure what the Andy Griffith show has to do with uh, being in an underground subway system, but, you know, whistle while you work. Oh, I think I'm gonna be sick. I really hope whoever designed this thing Equipped it with a barf bag. Yeehaw! Okay, guys, we are flying back through the end of this terrible roller coaster ride. I hope I get a photo at the end of it. I really would like to trade some of Cirrus's wealth for a lovely framed photograph of my time here in the Selenitic Age. Uh, I guess because they don't have any uh, souvenir cups, unfortunately. But now that I have the red page in hand, let us return to Mist Island, where almost certain doom awaits us. Okay, so I'm going to hit save here so I can save scum. And now, we shall give the final red page to Cirrus. Is this a good idea? I don't know. We may never, we may not exist after we do this to complete that statement in our journal here. So hopefully that's not our last entry. Wish me luck, folks. <laughs> I owe you a debt of gratitude, for you have nearly released me. Nearly? My name is Sirius. I trust that from your explorations you have become convinced that my wicked brother, Akinov, is guilty, and I am innocent. It is I who am wrongly imprisoned here, imprisoned by my father. I don't know who you are, or how you came to this island. But I assume you must at least know something of the books. It was father who was a master of the books. He wrote hundreds of them, all describing and linking to the fantastic places and ages which he had discovered. The room in which you now stand was our father's library. It was here in this room, on this island named Mist, that he housed most of these books. But such a by now, you have surely discovered that Akinar has burnt and mutilated most of these books. Why? Our 
father was always watchful of our exploration. We grew up under his strict supervision. But when we came of age, he gave us unbridled access to the mystic books. He began to leave our adventures more and more unchecked. Unsupervised as we were, my brother began to become disturbed. He began to take more from the missed ages than he had given. Soon he gained a twisted pleasure from the conquest and destruction of the other ages. It was horrific. His thirst for destruction. But alas, even I discovered his insanity too late. He had completely destroyed all of the missed ages but four. I wasted no time. In warning my father, I thought he would recognize Akhenon's guilt. But in a fit of rage, he imprisoned both my brother and myself within the pages of these books, designed to hold us until he could judge which of us was guilty. To discover the truth, my father embarked on one final chapter. However, he has never returned. I can only assume that he perished along the way, leaving me an innocent victim and trapped forever. But now, you are here to release me. Listen carefully. You must find one more page and I will be forever free. Hmm. There is a book on the shelves. This library, which is mostly burned, but has a few pages still intact. It is the last book on the middle shelf. Find it. This book is filled with a variety of patterns. Find pattern 158 and recreate it on the door of the fireplace. This will bring you to the last red page. Bring that page to me and I will finally be released and able to reward you, of course. Ignore the blue page. That page finishes my brother's book. Chills me to even think what would happen if you were to release him. There is another one. Where the red and blue pages reside, also resides a green book. If you touch the green book, you also will be imprisoned forever. Our father gave us this same morning long ago. I suggest you follow us. Go now. Soon we will be face to face. Okay, that just shed a lot of information on what's going on here. Uh, I'm going to take it all with a grain of salt, but what I have written down while we were learning is that uh, Cirrus was imprisoned by Atrus, his father. Uh, Atrus is a master of the books, like his father. So, Atrus has apparently absorbed some of this world-building skill from his father. Akinar is claimed to have burned the books, uh, but Atrus, because he couldn't judge who was guilty, he trapped them both inside prison books. And Cirrus has now revealed to us that pattern 158 is what we need to put into the fireplace. He also said that there's another green book, but let's uh, go check out the fireplace and see what's behind it first. I also want to bring that last page to Akinar since it's not going to free him to get his final story and see what uh, what his words are against Cirrus's. But before we go running back off to the Mechanical Age to get the last page for uh, Akinar, let's hop. Let's go over to the Codex here. Look for 158. 158. I'm going to make a. Jot this down real quick in my notebook. Okay, so we now have pattern 158 written down in the book. Let's go punch it in. See what happens. Do a quick double check.
All right, let's hit this button and see what happens. Very interesting. So we have a green book, which we were warned not to touch. A blue page and a red page. So what's the the green page? I don't want to release any one of this. So this has given us a third choice. I don't want to release either one of the two brothers. And they said this book, Cirrus said in his soliloquy, that this book will trap you if you go in it. So they're in prison books. They probably know what a prison book is. They said, uh, so thinking back to on Channelwood, the message he gave to his brother said, take only one page. There's one page in the marker switch vault uh, locked up by the ship on the front of the island. Each brother had half of the page that described them locking that page up in the, the marker switch. So what if this book uh, has had a page taken out of it, and the page that was taken out of it is the one in the marker switch? Because this is a, a neutral. It's it's blue and red together. It's green, I guess, kind of mix and match. So if it's neutral, that page had a cream-colored paper. So if we put that page in this book... I don't want to touch this book because I don't know what's going to happen if I touch it, but at least if I bring the page there, I know I can drop the page into it without having to touch the book. It'll power up like the other ones did. I'm not going to give either one of these pages to them, but before I go that far, I'm going to grab the blue page from the Mechanical Age, come back, complete Akinar's thing, and listen to his story, and then we'll make our final decision on what we're going to do. If we're going to give him blue page, red page, or try to drop that cream page into this green book before we touch it. Okay, let's flip back around. Get out of here. Now that I have been uh, given the, I would say dichotomy, but it's more like a trichotomy of choice. Fly back to the mechanical age, doing further irreparable harm to my DNA, probably. I also wonder what it looks like when you link in. I wonder if you like fade in and materialize, or if you just pop into existence and there's a big explosion of air, or how that works. Okay, to Akinar's room. We crawl in the creepy, zappy dungeon. Uh, I'm not taking this head with me, unfortunately, although it'd be great decoration, according to Akinar. Grab his page. Let's get out of here before I get some sort of bloodborne illness. And out of here, to the staircase. Luckily, this age is easy to escape. Probably the easiest stage to escape, actually. And join me in learning what the crazy guy has to say. Hello. Hi, Mac and I'm glad to see that you've returned to help me escape from my wrongful imprisonment. <laughs> He was serious. He did this to me. Serious. My wicked brother. Do not listen to him. I warn you. I warn you. He's a liar. Do not be persuaded by his evil lies. I release him. Kill my father. He will kill you. <laughs> Again, when my brother Sears began to bust for riches, he stole from me. He just missed. He only riches for himself. My father. My father swept away his watchfulness. My sick brother secretly pronounced himself king. King of the ages of mist, he said. He began to look upon me in disgust. His lowly brother! He did him! And the seers began to destroy the ages of mist. He burned their forest. He tore down their structures. He flooded their lands. He murdered their inhabitants to be destroyed all but four of the ages. Of course, I had a woman father. 
I finally found him. There was Cirrus also. Talking cleverly. <laughs> the lying tongue of a sad man. He had convinced Father that it was I who destroyed the ages. He convinced Father that it was I who was greedy for wealth and plunder. And as soon as he dealt the final blow, he tricked Father into believing that I was the murderer. But Sirius did not feel as fast a blow as he planned. And his father died a slow death. He at last doubted my brother's clever lies. And so in dying, Father imprisoned us both. I'm sure from which of us the blow had come. <laughs> I swear to you, what I say is true. Release me. <laughs> you must release me. My brother is a deceitful liar. He deserves punishment. I only wish vengeance for my dear father. He's murdered. <laughs> Believe me. <laughs> he must only recover one additional page to release me from this prison. It's the easiest to find. Go to the bookshelf. But in this library, on the far right side of the middle shelf, there's a burned book, which is different from the other burnt books. This book is filled with patterns. Fine pattern 158. Mimic its design on the panel in the fireplace. Doing this will bring you the last blue page. Remember, take the red page. Only the blue page. Return quickly to me. And do not touch the green book. It's a clever trap to imprison those have not been warned. <laughs> Do not be tempted, or you will rot and die, imprisoned as I am. <laughs> I tell you, if you follow my instructions, you will be well worth your while. I promise you that. Go. Go. Okay, so his story is fairly consistent with Cirrus's, despite the fact that they're pointing fingers at each other. The, he told us the same information, Akinar told us the same information that Sirius did, which is that we can get in the fireplace and access the pages. They're both uh, vying to be released, but uh, what they ta don't talk about is Atrus's fate. They talk about murdered my father, but if that were the case, how would they be locked in these books by themselves? So either Catherine did it, and I have had no evidence of Catherine being here, or uh, or Atrus locked them both in here, and he's still alive. The fact that they said take only one page, that's the only book left that we haven't clicked. Uh, I really think this is, we're getting pretty close to the end game here. So I'm going to go take this page from here. It is neither red nor blue. The only linking book that will accommodate it, because it won't go in any of the other linking books, and the one that they claim is a trap, is the one behind the fireplace. So let's punch in this code real quick and see if we can add this page without getting permanently trapped forever and rotting to death, as Akinar said. Okay, we're gonna flip around. Before I do anything here, I am going to save the game. There have not been any death mechanics or anything like that in this game, but there could be endings, so I'm going to drop this page in here. Oh. Atrus? Who the devil are you? Uh, don't come here to Dunny. Not yet. To Dunny. Um, oh, I have many questions for you, my friend. As you no doubt have for me. Um, where should I begin? Oh. Perhaps my story is in order. Um, my name is Atris. I fear you've met my son, Cirrus and Akinar, in the red and blue books on Mist Island. In my library. My library. Oh. It contains my works, my writings. Oh, I wrote many books. Many books that linked me to fantastic places. It's an art I learned from my father many years ago. Oh, but the red and blue books, those were different. Mm, I wrote those books, too. 
Ah, entrap over greedy explorers that might stumble upon my island of mist. But I had no idea my own sons would be entrapped. Ah, my sons. Cirrus and Agazar, we had many journeys together. Ah, I gave them free reign to look. Perhaps it was not wise. Ah, I could see the greed growing in them. I had not told them about the red and blue books. Their imaginations went wild. They dreamed of riches and power. Of course, they did not know the books were traps. They begged me for access to those books, and I, of course, denied them. Ah. Oh, they devised a plan. An evil plan. I had no idea to what extent their greed had, had progressed. Their own mother. He was their own mother. Oh, my dear Catherine. Ah, to lure me here to Dunny. Of course, I... I could return to Mist, except that they removed a single page from my Mist-linking book. I cannot return without that page. You, my friend, can bring that page to me. Oh, I pray you believe my story about the lies that my sons have told you. If you could find it in yourself to return that page to me here in Dunny, I could go to Mist and bring justice to my sons for what they've done. I must return to my writing. I pray that you believe me. Please hurry. Bring the page. Bring the page with you. This is very different than the two. I, I'm tempted to trust Atreus, despite his failings as a father and probably neglecting his sons in favor of writing more books. It does make sense that... Uh, I mean, he's at least the who's orchestrated all of this. He he wrote the blue and red prison books, uh, kind of built up his sons about uh, possible new ages to which they could go and and explore. And of course, both sons thought, well, you know, Cirrus thought I can go get more riches. Akinar thought I can have more dominion over people and mete out justice as I see fit, or torture, or imprison, or punish people. And of course, uh, when one brother went to one book, the other one went to the other and thought we are going to go explore these ages and they were stuck there permanently but not before they had ripped the book out of Atreus's mist linking book so he's not trapped where he is except that he doesn't have a way to get back to mist island so in his journal he mentions uh, I'm going to bring another book because you have to have a way to get back which means when he got to Dunny which is where he's saying he is now he had no way to come back so for who knows how long he's been there his sons have been trapped in these other books, uh, I guess it's not been too long. I don't know how you age if you're in a prison book, but I thought that I would have to feed him this page and maybe he was trapped like everybody else is and maybe everybody's bad and Catherine ran off, but it, he doesn't seem to be trapped in a prison book. He just seems to be on the other end of this uh, Dunny linking book, I guess, which it's not marked on the cover. And if we go here with this page, presumably he will be able to return to Mist and now his suspicions have been confirmed that his sons are trapped in both of those books and he knows that they're horrible people. So that's not really any solace, but at least we can let him deal with, as he sees fit, his imprisoned sons. And I think we owe him that much. Uh, he's left notes for his wife. He's created these ages. He cares about the ages. They were destroyed by... Uh, we actually don't know who they were destroyed by, if they were destroyed by Sirius Akinar or either one of them. But I think we owe it to... Atrus to bring in this page and let him figure out what's going on. Maybe I'm just being gullible, but let's let's go on. We are in a cave. Hey, this is a nice beautiful room. It doesn't look destroyed. I can't go down any of these hallways. I can go... 
I can go look at it, but I, I take a step back whenever I go to leave. So I can't leave. Uh, my only option is to come talk to Atris here. Ah, my friend. You return. And the page. Did you bring the page? It's here. Ah, give it to me. I don't want to give it to you. Give me the page. Please give the page. Convince me. The page, my friend. The Convince page. me. Give me the page. I want to give you the page. There's nowhere else to go, though. Is that, is that his own face in uh, mosaic on the bottom there? I think it might be. That's a little bit of conceit. That kind of looks like him, maybe a younger version of him. And maybe he does have a bit of conceit that rubbed off on his sons. Give me the page. Fine, take the page. You've done the right thing. I'm not convinced. I have a difficult choice to make. I really hope he doesn't just peace out, but I guess the book stays here. My sons have betrayed me. I know what I must do. I shall return shortly. Okay, so that's what it looks like to link out. You uh, fade into the blackness, shrink into the book. I sure hope he wasn't lying, and now he just laughs at me through the... Oh, goodness. Did I, did I do wrong? I think I did it wrong. Oh, poof, he's back. How did he get back? I think I might have bugged out. Oh, he's still here. Come on, man. Give me something to go on. I think I may have bugged out the game. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. I'll beat you with the book. Well, I'm going to try loading up here. Actually, I'm going to save this game as and then load number two. I think I might have bugged it out, but we're going to go check out the fireplace. And we're going back around. We're going to go join you now. Again. The page. Did you bring the page? Ah, give it to me. Here you go. You've done the right thing. I'm still not convinced. I have a difficult choice to make. Shortly. 
I'm just going to sit here and wait till he comes back because I think I glitched it out last time by clicking on it right when it should have triggered his return or something like that. So let's just sit here and bide our time. Admire this beautiful oil lamp. Looks like some books on the shelf back to the right. It's kind of a stark place to do... Oh, he's back. It is done. Oh, I have many questions for you, my friend. But uh, my writing cannot wait. I fear that my long delay may have already had a catastrophic impact on the world in which my wife, Catherine, is now being held hostage. Mm. The library on the island of Mist, the books <laughs> that are contained there. Feel free to explore at your leisure. Well, that's... You find your explorations Dumb. satisfying. I already explored it all. You will no longer have my sons to deal with. Oh, and uh, one more favor. I am fighting a foe much greater than my sons would even imagine. At some point in the future, I may find it necessary to request your assistance. Until that point, feel free to enjoy the explorations from my library on Mist. Thank you again. You ask a lot, and Riven didn't come out till 1997, so that's like four years of just slowly going insane. No wonder your sons went crazy, because you made them sit there and just explore the same five things. The book. You can use the mist. Linking book to return the mist. What if I want to just bother you? You're the only human being I've seen for the last, like, 40 hours. I guess... I don't know why it lets you go up to this door... Just kind of hoping there's like a secret passage or something. But this seems pretty final, guys. So let's go back to Mist Island. Oh, goodness. Those books have been destroyed. I wonder if... I guess destroying that, I wonder if it traps him there permanently. Maybe he didn't have the, the guts to trap him there until he really knew it was them, and now he knows it's them. And so he's he's sealed their fate and destroyed their prison books, and now they're there for infinity? I think that must be what happened. He just still didn't pick up his garbage, even though he left it here on this island, which is a little rude, but... And like we saw before... The books are done, cratered, nothing there. The suns are eternally locked away. So this uh, this game seems like it was banking on being pretty successful because they left it hanging. Uh, we don't know anything about Catherine. The very first thing we see when we get on the island is a note to Catherine from Atris. And all we know is that she's, she's uh, been kidnapped or something, and we don't know why. He's fighting a foe greater than either of his sons. Um, you know, if you know, Riven is the sequel to Mist. I'm not going to talk anything about that because I don't want to spoil it and I might play that game later on. But I'm really left here with more questions than we started with. And this... It's, it's a good thing that this game has such great lore and it gave such good, interesting uh, possibilities by talking about the ages and the, the art and how you can craft these ages. And I feel like, despite the fact that it, this whole game doesn't really have much of a denouement, it just kind of dumps you off at the end and says, well, thanks for playing, it does give you... Like, you want to go learn more about it. You want to go play the sequel. And knowing that they did make a sequel now is much better than it would have been back in the day when you got to the end of Mist and you were like, that's it? Like, what do I do now? But, you know, overall, we've solved the story. We have joined Atris and Dunny. Um, I guess I'll probably be bothering him a lot because there's nothing else to do and I'm just going to sit around never going back to the planet Earth for the rest of my life. Uh, I hope 
I can call my boss or something and tell him that I'm not coming back into work because he might be a little bit upset. But thank you guys for watching this Let's Play. Thank you. It's my first one I've ever done. I really had fun making notes about the game and exploring it again. Like I said, I played it before, but I haven't ever played it through. And it's really been fun. I, I can't wait to play the next one with you guys. So if you like this video, hit the thumbs up. Uh, comment on this video. Tell me what you thought about the ending of, of this particular Myst game and how that related to your experiences in the next Myst games. I want to hear from you guys. So thank you for watching. I hope you have a great evening or afternoon or morning and cheers.